Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Opinion Machine, the show where we talk about all things gaming. My name is Killjoy, and today we're going to be taking another look at some more video game music that was suggested to me by some friends. And uh, yeah, we've got five more tracks to go over. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the last one. I had a blast doing it. I'm looking forward to going over some more tracks. Uh, some of the stuff I've heard, some of it I haven't. Uh, yeah, so let's just, just get into it. I'm going to be starting off with Gerudo Valley from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is a piece of music I have heard. Straight up, I actually prefer the remix of this in Smash Brothers, uh, Super Smash Brothers 4, and I think Ultimate has it as well. Um, I just think it's it's just a really good remix and a, almost like a remaster of the track. But anyway, let's get to it. We'll talk about it and go from there. That, that guitar intro. Now we've got some kind of like... Yeah, this is, a, this is a fantastic piece of music already. So, Gerudo Valley is a very deserty area in the game. But it is, uh, it's hard to explain until you play that, but when you come into the area, I think you get a flyby and the music kicks in. That da 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 blaze. And then you get the... I want to say castanets, I think is what it's meant to be, like the hand kind of uh, pieces of wood that you clap together, like tick, 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 tick. Um, I guess it has like very um, Spanish flavor, but it's a little bit maybe potential Mexican flavor in this as well. But I like the fact that the percussion is just tick, 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 like that. You then have the guitar part playing the melody. Um, there's nothing crazy about this track in the sense it's not like it's not overblown or anything but it's got a very very specific feel it has a very um it's very it's a very focused piece of music which is what i like about it um and we just bring it back a little bit before we go into the main melody and you'll see that expands into the rest of the track so you the guitar part just playing the main melody it's almost like asking questions and then what is a trumpet comes in as well. So I like how you have the that the main melody repeat, but with the trumpet almost adding along side of it, and then then we get the the the, the track moves forward into the next part of the melody, and it drops back into just the guitar. just it's just going along at his own pace um and now we switch to the trumpet and another trumpet comes in So you can see with this track specifically that all the rhythms section is the guitar underneath going with the of these castanets. This track is really, um, you know, I mean, it's, it came out on the N64. I wouldn't expect that the that you know it doesn't have a super powerful sound chip. But what they've created here is a really nice piece of music that has an underlying. Uh, feel rhythm to it with the guitar part and the castanets with this acoustic guitar playing over the top and then accompanied by these trumpets and then you get two trumpets come in to kind of broaden it like almost mariachi style i guess um but i love i, I love the the feel of this track because everyone knows a lot the classic zelda music is very uh, very much in your face, very boombastic. You know the da 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 da. It's like going on adventure music. This is a completely different feel to that, and you're kind of exploring a very different area of Hyrule, um, and that's kind of what makes usually the Zelda music interesting. Is, is you have the main overworld, you have the main theme kind of play, and then you have these different areas that have different music. But this one has there's almost like this underlying kind of I don't know, not not necessarily like evil but there's something in this music that's like kind of something going on in this area it's not quite right 
but the music's so um, upbeat in its rhythmic section versus kind of like the minor key that I think this is in. Like, to me, this piece of music is telling a story. It's telling a story of this area. That main melody. Ba -da 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 -da. You could sing over there and ask a question. Da -da 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 -da. You could almost... Yeah, it's, it's really interesting. I find this track interesting as hell. And I think it just repeats from then on out. It's not a long piece of music. I mean, a lot of video game music from back then isn't. But... I, I really like how this track fits into the desert -y area, the what the, all the stuff that's going on there. Uh, when you get to, like, I've forgotten the, the Gerudo, when you actually get to uh, seeing them, primarily these big, powerful female warriors for the most part, and how they are. And it, the, this part of the game feels very different, and I think this track feels very... Uh, not out of place, because I don't think any of the music's out of place, but feels so vastly different to a lot of the other music in the game. And... Uh, yeah, I, I really like this track. I think this track has a lot of character to it. Um, this, I would say go check out the Smash Brothers version of this as well. I would say check out lots of people playing on, like, guitars and things. So, like, got that flamenco style and stuff. This is just a really good piece of guitar music. I, I think it's fantastic. So, yeah. Gruda Valley, fantastic track. Very focused on it. It is very simple track in, in the instruments used. Um, but fantastic piece of music altogether. Alrighty, now we've got uh, at the bottom of night. This is the remastered version from a piece. This is from Chrono Trigger. I have never played Chrono Trigger and I don't know much of the music, so I'm going to be going in blind to this completely and I'll kind of just give my thoughts as we go. So, very thought, thought provoking, maybe? It's a good way to describe this from what I'm hearing so far. All right, cool. So, what I'm what I'm getting off of this, this sounds like a piece of music that would play during a cutscene. I know there are some parts at night time and stuff. I've got a general gist of what happens in Chrono Trigger and what the game's about. Um, but this gives me that kind of like they're all gathered around a campfire talking. This could be somebody's backstory moment. This could be just talking about what's going on in the game. Um, but that that very kind of very chill feeling. You know, just sort of do very dreamy, that do 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 do, like very dreamy kind of thing. Um, this is probably a quieter moment in the game. I, like I said, I have no idea when this plays in the game, uh, but so far that, and though it seems like we've got some st simp strings coming in as well now. Hmm. Oh, okay, so those strings do a lot. They do so much. So you've got that main melody playing, that very chill do 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 That's like the main melody doing its thing. The strings are kind of doing... I don't know if they're doing chords or a counter melody here, but they add such a... So if you take away the strings and you've got the beginning bit, like, let's just listen to this again, right, from the start. Listen to how the track sounds with the... Just the do-do-do. It's very, like, dreamy, very calm. When the strings come in, you get much more of an emotional feeling, like, ooh, things might not be quite right here. So it's just like, you know, nighttime, very nighttime feeling, very calm, right? Characters probably discussing, talking to each other, reminiscing, maybe. It's not necessarily a happy track, but it, it's just, yeah, we're sat around talking. Strings come in, listen to how the strings change. That first note. Yeah, no. So far, so nice. That bit. Nah. The bass comes in. So the strings, to me, kind of... They give a little bit more of emotion. So maybe things aren't quite so dreamy. You know, that's the that's the feeling I'm getting from it. It sounds like there's a bass coming in now, so let's see where this goes. Ooh. Well, 
Oh, that chain. Uh, duh, duh, oh, that 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 change onto that note. Everything kind of. I feel like this piece of music is again sort of telling a story. It starts off like okay, and then like, and then as the conversation's going on, it's almost like someone's like confessing something or whatever. Like I said, I don't know when this plays in the game, but I'm I'm really liking what I'm hearing. It's setting a very specific mood. Um, yeah, very 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 good. Oh really? Does it just sort of end there and repeat? <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, I need to I need to look up where this plays because this is this track does a lot with very little. So you've kind of got like the electric piano or whatever this is, clav playing. With the strings backing it up and adding a bit more emotion to it. The bass plays a little bit. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm I'm very impressed. I I I feel like this is definitely a cutscene, or it plays in a town at night. That's the two things I can think it could be, but... Uh, almost a bit of hope. A, bit, a little bit of hope in there, maybe. And that kind of... What I assume would be a flute playing over the top there. This gives me some Xenoblade vibes as well. Yeah, I'm... I I'm digging this. Like, this is a classic kind of having a moment with the characters kind of thing. That's what I think it is, so... But overall, it's a really short but very emotional piece of music that is clearly setting a scene for something so yeah really really cool i i don't know much chrono trigger music i know that the soundtrack is very widely uh loved so but that was fantastic so yeah yeah at the bottom of night that one's called Alrighty, now for a game i have not played in years and i don't remember much about and this is jet set radio future uh called fly like a butterfly i have no doubt this is going to be very either hip-hoppy funky something like that along these lines i don't know this piece of music so again see how we get on fly. It sounds exactly how I imagined it would sound. All that bass. Interesting. So first we've got voice samples. We've got a crazy bit of bass. Now the guitar's coming in. So I'm getting like almost like a funkiness vibe going on here. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Wow! Okay, so I feel like this is a little bit over trip hoppy or potentially um, not glitch. Uh, I've forgotten the this genre, but like we've got that like kind of not break beat per se, but that kind of drum beat behind it with these like like kind of we've got a very energetic is this is what this track gives gives to me is a very energetic vibe so let's see how this this plays out so this is real sample heavy thinking about it yeah this is very very sample heavy it's got like a i think it's trip hop um there's a little bit of that in there uh, very electronic heavy track but what's really cool about it is the if you've never played jet set radio or jet set radio future like it is very it's a very bizarre game anyway but like a lot of the music has varying different kind of influences and this um this sums up pretty much what the soundtrack sounds like but yeah the gameplay is you, you're going around graffitiing things i think I, I don't know if you're just graffitiing things i haven't played the game in so long um but the very 90s vibe i'm getting off of this but i like i like the sound of the guitar samples uh, i like the funkiness of the bass and the drum beat really just like pushes the track along i don't expect this track to be very complicated i think it'll be quite repetitive but i think that's going to work in its favor that bass is going hard man Yeah. 
It's also really cool to hear a track with samples, like voice samples in it, because it's not something I can. I can't think of many video games that do that, like this is doing, where it's just like got that fly like a butterfly thing being cut up and edited in, um, and then you got that sound. So yeah, it, it gives me a real Dreamcast vibe, like a lot of the games. I know the original Jet Set Radio was on there, uh, kind of music from that era, so early two thousands, I think. But I'm I'm digging it. I'm really enjoying this. got such a good groove. That's what I like. Oh, oh, I like that. It's weird how this track is switching between two things. You've got like the bass guitar part. So you've got the bass part and the guitar part that I don't get to get. Then it suddenly goes back to more of the like electronic part that just it's it's like two two different feels like you could have the track is one or the other but i like how it's kind of mashing between hey we've got the you primarily focusing on the guitar bass and then suddenly we've got that weird like kind of 90s chord stab like electronic sound very strange like a body, I don't know how long this track actually is, it says 3 minutes in this video, but I don't know if it's actually this long or not, but... Yeah, so this bit, you've got the guitar part and, and the bass, basically, which is the main focus, and then it goes back into the electronic part. Bulldozer? <laughs> Alright, so I'm a, I'm a huge fan of a musician uh, called The Flashbulb. And he does primarily glitch music, but he's done other stuff as well. And this sounds like something he could have made. A uh, very EDM style of music, but I, I'm really digging this. Um, it's bizarre as all hell, but it's really cool. I don't know if there's much more I can say on it, honestly. It's just a nice blend of like really good samples in this kind of 90s electronic... Oh, breakdown. That's nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen to that. Honestly, I would be totally down for them just having like the drums and the bass playing for a long... Just really going ham on that bass. Uh, that bass sounds nice. Um, I know again it's a sample, but like, man, give me a, give me a longer breakdown with the bass and the drums. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, they've got that kind of ninety sound again. Like house music, I think is what uses that kind of sound. Man, I, think, I, I need to go listen to Jet Set Radio, and the second one, clearly. This is a, a really good piece of music. Interesting. That was bizarre. That was really bizarre and unexpected, but I, I like I like what I'm hearing. I forget like a lot of Sega games during the Dreamcast era had some weird music going on, but Jet Set Radio Future and Jet Set Radio are strange games anyway. Uh, but man, that was that was really cool. That's so different. That's, I haven't heard anything like that in a while, uh, probably from since I last played Jet Set Radio. Uh, but I really liked, like I said, the uh, the use of samples going on in that. This uh, game, I believe, came out on the original Xbox. I think it might have been a launch title, actually. But, yeah. Uh, if you like that kind of more... There's a, there's a few different genres going on here. You've got, like, an EDM sort of feel. We've got a bit of, like, I think, trip-hop going on here. We've got some, like, like house-sounding stuff. And this crazy... That bass line was super cool. So, yeah. I uh, I definitely need to check out more of the soundtrack one. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Fly, Fly Like a Butterfly from Jet Set Radio Future. Definitely check out more of that. All right, next up we have Final Fantasy VII, the original, the Turks theme. I have never played a Final Fantasy game. I do know all the music from the... Well, I'd say no. I know a lot of the music from the remake of this, 
Not sure what this is going to sound like. Again, going in blind. Let's have a listen. Okay. Sounds like something out of Civilization 3. <laughs> Ooh, nice bit of bass. What is going on right now? <laughs> oh my god, those noises. Those um, drum percussion noises are amazing. Okay. Ah. Uh, like I said, I've never heard this before. I'm enjoying the percussion side of things a lot, but this track is super minimalistic. Uh, if I don't, I think the Turks are like essentially like the they're either like bodyguards or they're basically like hitmen for like a dude in the game. Um, I, I'm probably getting that wrong. I don't know exactly. What, I know you fight them, but um. For a bad guy theme, it's not exactly that menacing, and for like, so I don't know if they're trying to make it sound cool or not. But I'm loving like the use of panning and things with. Oh, got some more drums going on. We're building the track up now, are we? This this is really weird. <laughs> Is this it? Like, I, I'm legitimately shocked that this is it. Like, I was kind of expecting this to be more than just the occasional bass line. Yeah. Alright. Straight up, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed. Usually specific themes for characters and stuff are usually some of the most interesting things. I don't really know what they're... Because I've not played the game, I don't know what they're going for with the Turks theme here. I know, like I said, like they're like, kind of like bodyguards or people you fight, like assassins or something like that. But, like, maybe I'm missing something? Are they, like... Is this meant to be, like them being like super cool i don't know i i love the percussion side of things with the different sounds and the cowbells and stuff going on but the baseline thing does nothing it's so flat it's just like do 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 ba 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 i'm like okay <laughs> I, I i don't know i generally was expecting more from this i yeah i know final fantasy 7 has good music i've heard the battle theme and i know it's got like i've heard most of the battle themes and stuff and obviously one wing angel as well but yeah, I, uh, yeah, I'm just a little bit disappointed. There's nothing really happening in the music that's making me go, "Ooh, I need to listen to this again." Uh, I'm not. This isn't particularly catchy. Um, yeah, I don't. I, I don't really have much more to say. On it. Not really anything positive, other than it's like I guess in game, like that you probably meet these people more than once. So because of that, you're probably like, "Oh, it's these guys," but. I don't know. I, yeah, I just don't know what they're going for here. So, unfortunately, that's definitely going to be a miss for me. That's not something I enjoyed, really. Just just was a little bit boring, if I'm honest. So, All right, and the last one for today. Uh, this is called Common Battle 1, technically, from a game called Future Tactics The Uprising. The soundtrack to this game is phenomenal. A lot of people might not like the game, but the actual soundtrack in this and... This is not as soon as you as soon as I hit play, you're gonna be like, this is weird battle music, and yes it is. Does this sound like battle music to you? <laughs> so you start off with a flute going you know, da -da -da. so you've got a bun a bouncy little theme. What are we in? We're, we're eight seconds into the track, and you've got the the the, the main melody. Da -da 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 and then repeats and then brings in more instruments 
So there's like a percussion playing and this flute. I love that percussion. Alright. Now I'm not sure what that instrument is, but that bow ba bow 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 ba bow bow ba bow is it, it, this track is building layers. And you'll see that and it just keeps building and building and building. Do ding 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 Violin Two violins? Or is it just the one? Two violins, there we go. Got a bit of harmonies. Before it changes into the actual main melody, what I love about this intro is this is one of the most un... It doesn't sound like a battle theme, because the, the sister track to this is called Enemy Attack 1, which is guitars... So the game is a turn-based game, so I'm trying to just give you some idea. The game is turn-based, you take a turn, the enemy takes a turn. Common Battle and Enemy Attack 1 are the same piece of music. It's just that Enemy Attack 1 is very he rock. So you guys get all the very, like... Uh, minim not minimalistic, you get the, the, the softer versions of the battle themes, generally the enemy gets the hard rock versions so like, in the in enemy attack one you get the same tracks like like so it's the same melody, it's just played on guitars and things um, but I love here, you've got that uh, that, that string instrument that don't, 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 don't. I, I don't think it's a guitar, I can't think of what it could be uh, with the violins on top, and then you've still got the flute. I think it's a flute playing, ba 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 da ba, and it's just all building and building and building, and then it is about to go into the main meat of the track. So let's just bring it back a little bit. Let's bring it back like ten seconds. So just listen to how it builds, and you, you suddenly get the harmonies and the violins and things. Very not a lot of percussion going on, just the drums, and then it hits into the main melody now. Now I think the two violins are playing that as well as the um, the stringed instrument. I think I could be wrong. Another violin comes in. Alright, so we have like, what is the catchy part of the track? So, I mean, the track, to me, is catchy because you've got the do 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 at the beginning, and then you get the uh, the melody comes in the do 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 Tracks constantly, it's not hanging around too long anymore. But now it goes back into the um, to the main melody again. Builds up obviously at first. I'm loving the violins; they were recorded nicely. On the bass of this as well. Try and listen to the bass on this part. It's going boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. It's like a walking bass line. It's also a double bass, I think. Now. So the, the bass line really pushes this track. I've never noticed that before. So you've got the... Da -da 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 da 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 And underneath you've got that... Boom, 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 boom. That's really interesting. Like that's it's, it's like it's doing its own thing. Oh yeah, now the track changes to a more chill part there. But dun 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 dun. There's your little flute playing the main melody part. And then we have a change at the end here before it loops. The bass comes back in. Boom, 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 boom. It 
at the end part now. Yeah, focus on that bass guitar. Bass guitar, sorry, double bass. Nice. I like it. And then we get a note. So, what's interesting about this track, before I, you hear the very end bit, is it's not doing a lot. You've got the intro bit, the so intro into the build of all the instruments, into the ba da 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 into back into the intro bit again, back into the da 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 da, and then it changes a little bit, and then it, it's kind of like the track's just kind of winding down from there onwards, and you get more focus on the bass. It's very chill. So really, I find this really interesting as a battle theme. Boom, 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 boom. Dum, 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 dum. I'm loving that electric piano, electric organ. Sorry. You can hear it coming back in. And then it repeats. I I really like this piece of music. I find it incredibly catchy. Um, it's not going to be to everyone's taste in the sense that, like, a lot of the time when you play uh, turn-based strategy, the music can be really super important. If you want examples of that, Advance Wars and um, Valkyria Chronicles are, are examples of other similar types of games that have uh battle music and they're, they're they're fantastic as well but what i like about this this is try this is almost like the thinking man's music rather than uh, something that's like really like really in your face and all that like it's quite a, a powerful piece of music but it's using very soft instruments it's not really trying to hit hard or anything um i don't think it ever really gets in the way of what you're doing but it's um it's it's got a flavor there and it's pushing the track along and then you kind of have that re repetition of part a and part b before it goes into the rest of the track with like the organ and stuff it's very chill that's what's interesting about it to me it's very very chill and uh yeah and i think we should you know what let's let's listen to enemy attack one as well all right this this wasn't requested but i feel like i have to this is a great example of being able to show off um what enemy attack one is this is the sister track to common battle and it's the bad guys version um, and you're gonna instantly gonna see the difference. There's guitars, got drums. Same theme though. Boom, boom. The but don't that do 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 do. Organ, rock organ coming in. So. What they're trying to do with Future Tactics is you have the think, you think on your turn, you have the much more chilled version of the track, enemies, and it's like, oh damn, things are going down, and the track just straight away hits that don't do 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 the doo doo. Violins are there. Like, it's all there, it's just now we've got. It's all going at once. It's, it's a slightly faster version of the track. Bam bam! Flute's there. Dun dun! you just got this, this guitar that's really. Put. The guitar in this is really pushing this track. It's really driving this version of the track. It's like, no, this is very bombastic. It's very in your face. You need to be aware that the enemies come in. Um, that kind of dung 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 behind certain parts of the track. It's so good. But the flute's going like more ham. Everything's just like got more drive in it. It's not being softly played anymore. It's like. It's that front and centerness of the track being right in your face, basically. I think the bass as well is is doing less 
I think it's more of an electric bass in this one potentially and it's kind of just driving along with the guitar Whoever's playing that flute is doing a fantastic job. He's literally going ham on that thing. I love it. And the thing is, you don't you don't always hear this track in full when you're against the enemy because they they move pretty quickly the AI already knows what they're doing yeah he's just it's like he's just doing a flute solo the entire time I love it and it's amazing just by adding in the the guitar part there and the drums just how much more power there is in this version and it really i love the fact these two track this this these two um versions of this track exist yeah i'd rather listen to i i, I like both like i love both i can't pick between them because i love them for different reasons i think enemy attack one has more oomph uh, in, the, in that sense, I'd probably prefer it to be the battle theme, but I love the the fact that it's like it's you guys versus the enemy, you know, and that gives that that guitar really kind of enforces that. I think that's pretty much it at this point. This is gonna do. I think does it do a bit at the end now. It loops there, so it's not quite the same. It's it's a shorter version of the track. Um, it's more of just the flute player going super ham, like da -da 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 I love it. Um, yeah, fantastic pieces of music, honestly. Like both of them. Um, I wasn't planning on putting Enemy Attack one in here, but honestly, <laughs> Common Battle is so good. I like discussing both of these tracks, and I think they both deserve to be in this video. Anyway, I, I could sit here and listen to both of them for <laughs> all day. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. That is going to do it for us today. Hopefully, you're enjoying me kind of talking through these tracks and giving opinions on them. Um, and hopefully, you guys are getting to hear new music. I know I have to. I, I keep stopping them and stuff, but you can go and check these tracks out in your own time and have a proper listen. And I hope you do. Um, uh, I didn't mention it last time, but I am putting the names of the composers in the description below. So if you actually want to see the composers and you want to see what else they've been doing, please go and check them out. Because obviously, composers in the video game industry don't get enough credit, even though like there's so much video game music that's fantastic. Like I, I obviously want to highlight the fact that you know in this video it says Tim Folan, so that's good. But I will definitely be putting um, the name the name of the game with however many composers worked on those games so you guys can go and listen to them but yeah thank you very much for watching as always if you like the video hit like if you want to see more content like this then hit subscribe links for facebook and twitter down below as well, uh, well as well as the composers and until next video i will see you then